Hey everyone, I'm PJ. PJ Ball from South Florida is a world champion. Well, I'm gonna show you some of my sports stacking moves. Just like that? Yeah. <laughs> Coming. Come on, it's time for school. There you are. You have to finish math before we can do our thing tonight, okay? Okay, is that a positive or a negative? Oh, it's a negative. No, sure? no, it's positive. You just didn't put anything. <laughs> you didn't put anything, I had to put something. We are the ball family, or the ball team, whatever you want to call us. Uh, we travel all over the country. We teach kids about stacking. Sport stacking is where you have 12 specially designed cups and you stack them up and down in formations as fast as you can. He's heading to the Junior Olympics this summer as a member of Team USA, representing the fast-paced world of sports stacking. Check out the lightning speed moves of PJ Ball, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> For a second, it got into the Junior Olympics because it got so popular and that tons and tons of kids started to do it. It's something that they can do anywhere, anytime, any place. I guess it's more appealing because it's so flashy. I watched tons of videos on it and I asked my dad, hey, can I get this for Christmas? And he's like, the last time that I saw 12 red cups was in college, and it's not for a game that you would play. And I'm like, no, 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 no. And we're like, well, okay, that's cheap. We can do that. So they were under the tree. He opened him up. That was all he did for about three months. Uh, hours and hours and hours was learning how to do it. I practiced and practiced, and I went to a couple tournaments. And the first tournament that I went to, I got fourth in the nation in my category. And my parents were like, what have we done? Uh-oh. What have we created? It's alive! <laughs> what are we going to do, you know? And so, and thus began our journey. Brando's been like a time machine. You know, it's our home, and it always looks the same, but we wake up and open the curtains. Oh, we're in Las Cruces, New Mexico. Oh, we're in wherever, you know? And so There have been a few times we forgot what state we were in. For us, the RV adventure has been more about reconnecting as a family, because we know in a few years, PJ's going to grow up and have a wife and have a job. and. We just want to seize that opportunity. Being in close proximity in that RV, you know, you're you're either connect or, you know, you know. And One so, thing we recommend to every family who RVs, get Bluetooth headphones phones. for everybody. You want to have a race? Sure. <laughs> okay. All right. Three, two, one. I'm in trouble. There we go. 2.7. Oh, there you go. Still okay. 2.7. <laughs> <laughs> look at him go, look at him go! Yes, yes! It's really much, much more than like just stacking cups, the same way as basketball is more than, than just throwing a ball in a hoop, the same way as golf is not just taking a stick and hitting a ball in a hole. It's so much more than that. Like you have a community, a place where people can fit in. And, and this is even more inclusive than regular sports because people who aren't as athletic per se, they can still participate and have friends and have a community in the sport. For people who don't think it's a sport, they need to honestly give it a try. When you go to a tournament, all eyes are on you. Everything is video recorded. Everything gets played back to check and see if you were perfect. You get three tries and that's it. So your whole nine months of training comes down to 45 seconds. The world record is 4.8 something. Uh -uh. Seven point four six five. 
we don't know what he wants to be when he grows up, so we're gonna just let him try everything and see what sticks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mommy and I got together, mm -hmm. and we went through the magnets here on the fridge, mm -hmm. and then like Instagram and everything. We're trying to figure out all the places we've been in the past few years. Okay. 131 places so far. The World Sports Stacking Association asked him to do a tour, go to schools and teach kids. So I want him to experience things and get an idea of geography and history and to see people from all over the country and all over the world and how, you know, yes, we're a little bit different, but really we're a lot the same. Check this out. I'm going to do some cup stacking. That's your first set of blues. Three. Two, one. 2530. Cool. You've improved since then. Oh, boy. <laughs> My time now is 7.0, I think. What? We're on the curb a little. Right here? <laughs> yes, here. you're making a left. Here? Yes, okay. this is it. Okay. PJ and I are part of Team USA Sports Stacking, and one of the things we get to do is we get to go all over the country and teach kids how to do sports stacking. So we're glad you guys could be here with us this afternoon, and we're going to show you some basic things. So one, switch hands two, one, switch hands two, one, switch hands two. Perfect. All right, so now we're going to see who's fast. Three, two, one, and go. I've been doing it for around five years. Practice is key. It's sort of hard though. <laughs> Just trying to get the hand-eye coordination. I have to get PJ's help. There you go. Very nice. There you go. I suck at this, so. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so he smoked me. Big surprise, right? But I brought with me my secret weapon. Three, two, one, go! Life is hard. Why not have some fun? So kind of what we want to do is infuse a little fun into everything. Anybody can afford it and any child can do it. I don't see me stopping anytime soon. 